Thank you for purchasing the Magliner Hand Truck. This step-by-step -step video will help you get your hand truck rolling in no time. Be sure to have the tools required to assemble your product. Review all sets of assembly instructions enclosed with your product and gather all of the tools listed. A copy of all product assembly instructions are available at magliner.com. It's helpful to use a workbench or table of convenient height and place all components in view and within reach. It may also be helpful to assemble the hand truck oriented face down. A knockdown hand truck box typically contains one frame, one handle, one nose, two wheels, and one completion pack. Depending on your nose selection, the box may include the 86029 nose mounting kit. The box will also contain any additional hand truck accessories included in the truck's model number. Make sure to position the reinforcements so the bottom half contains more holes than the top half. Slide the side channel reinforcements into the long legs of the frame. If your hand truck has a die cast nose, slide the legs and reinforcements over the nose heel. Insert the four 5 16 inch dash 18 by two and a quarter inch long hex head bolts through the nose, reinforcements, and frame legs on the right hand side. If your hand truck has an extruded or a steel nose, the nose will need to be fastened onto brackets before mounting to the frame. For flush mount extruded noses, fasten the brackets to the back of the heel using the hardware provided in the nose mounting kit. Do not fully tighten hardware at this time. For recess mount noses, fasten the brackets to the front of the heel. Do not fully tighten hardware at this time. Slide the frame legs and reinforcements over the nose brackets. Slide the right-hand wheel bracket onto the outside of the frame leg. The right-hand side refers to the right-hand side of the hand truck as though an operator was pushing the hand truck during normal use. Place lock nuts onto the two bolts, but finger tighten only for now. Take this time to insert the roll pins in the inner holes of the axle. Use a hammer to center the pins through the hole. Insert the axle into the right-hand wheel bracket and rotate the axle until the roll pin locks into place in the wheel bracket. Slide the left-hand wheel bracket onto the axle. Make sure the roll pin locks into place in the wheel bracket. Check all components for proper locations and make any adjustments as needed. Securely tighten the 5 16 inch dash 18 lock nuts to 120 to 140 inch pounds of torque. If you have an extruded or steel nose, securely tighten the fasteners connecting the nose brackets to the nose to 120 to 140 inch pounds of torque. Your hand truck may have C5 stair climbers. Assemble the first stair climber by aligning it with the wheel bracket. If your truck has 10-inch wheels, align the hole at the very bottom of the stair climber with the wheel bracket. If your truck has 8-inch wheels, align the hole further up with the hole in the wheel bracket. Secure the bottom of the stair climber with one 5 16 inch dash 18 by one and a quarter inch long hex head bolt and 5 16 inch dash 18 lock nut, but only finger tighten for now. Rotate the top of the stair climber upward until the open end of the stair climber fits over the frame side channel. Use the screwdriver to pierce through the red stripe. Insert one one and seven eighth inch long one quarter inch dash 20 pan head screw through the side of the stair climber and side channel. Secure with one quarter inch dash 20 lock nut. Repeat these steps for the other side. Fully tighten all fasteners connected with the stair climbers. Use 50 to 60 inch pounds of torque for one quarter inch bolts and to 120 to 140 inch pounds of torque for 5 16 inch bolts.
The Hand Truck Hardware Pack comes with an assortment of thick and thin washers to ensure a tight fit of the wheels onto the axle. For 815 wheels only, slide one thick 5 8 inch washer on the axle. For 1070, 1075, and 1080 wheels, slide two thick 5 8 inch washers on the axle. For all other wheels, slide one thick 5 8 inch and one thin 5 8 inch washer on the axle. Slide a wheel on the axle, making sure the long hub portion is toward or next to the wheel bracket. Slide one 5 8 inch washer on the axle. If required, a second thin washer is provided to shim the wheel for tighter fit. Please note that you may use a different configuration of washers than what is shown. Use whatever combination might give a tight fit between the final washer and the cotter pin hole on the axle. Insert a cotter pin through the hole on the end of the axle and spread the ends of the cotter pin apart using needle nose pliers. Repeat this sequence for the second wheel. Place black frame caps on the frame. Position the handle between the frame rails and line up the holes. If your hand truck was ordered with a high U-frame extension, gently squeeze the ends of the frame extension and place the extension between the handle. Some handles come with a short U-brace. In this case, the short U-brace should fit on the inside of the handle or the inside of the frame extension if you have one. Line up all holes. Fasten with four 1 quarter inch 20 pan head screws and hex head lock nuts. Securely tighten these screws to 50 to 60 inch pounds of torque. You are now ready to put your mag liner to work. With the value, quality, and innovation of Magliner.